to say a couple words before we begin. My name is Russ York. I'm the head of school at Ambleside. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about how this event came to be. We have campus meetings at the school, about four of them every year. And we have one at the very beginning of our school year. And this year we were kind of wrapping it up and one of our parents, Dennis O'Leary, uh, raised his hand and said, hey, I read this uh, book over the summer and it was a really good read. I just wanted to recommend it to our uh, school. And so I remembered that whenever he said the book title, The Collapse of Parenting, that it was on our summer reading list for parents. And that I thought, yeah, I need to go back and revisit that book. And I did, and I thought, well, I'm gonna prepare a little talk for this for our next campus meeting. I emailed Dr. Sachs in the meantime and just said, hey, really appreciate your thoughts on the book. Have you ever heard of uh, Charlotte Mason's philosophy? There's a lot of overlap with your book and what we do at the school. And also, would you come to Fredericksburg sometime? <laughs> and fully expecting to hear nothing. And within a few hours, actually, I had heard a great deal from Dr. Sachs. He not only responded that he would be delighted to come to Fredericksburg, but gave me a really robust uh, response. And I thought, wow, this guy really cares. This is great. So uh, that was kind of where we went. And then I thought, oh, wow, I really don't know how to organize this kind of thing. So I turned to the only person I know with the energy and the drive to be able to pull something like that off. And that's Julie Alvarez, so she's here in the front. Let's give her a hand. So, as many of you know, probably all of you in this room know, she's uh, she drives a lot in this town. She's a great philanthropist, and this was a event that she thought was going to be worthwhile for our community. And um, so we teamed up on that. She drove us forward. We met with Laura Bobo. Uh, we want to thank her too. She did all of our graphic design for this and got the word out. So thank you all. <laughs> did a good job, had a great turnout, so that was really wonderful. Uh, and then we realized too, we needed somebody to help pay for all of this, so we turned to a couple of great organizations in this town who have demonstrated time and time again that they really care about the people of Fredericksburg, they care about uh, what kind of resources parents and schools have here. And so the Diane Graves Owen Foundation and Edward Jones are both underwriting this event tonight. We want to thank them. Uh, <laughs> And then the last piece was where are we going to have it? And so we went to Hill Country Church and they graciously said, yes, we'd love to host the event here at the church. And so that's why we're all here. So big thank you to Hill Country Church. So one of the things that struck me about the collapse of parenting and the reason why I thought it would be important for us to hear from Dr. Sachs is that it was really a message of a there are a tremendous amount of unknowns and uncertainties in parenting and in education and parents and educators grandparents need guidance uh, there are a lot of calls to the attention of our children and grandchildren these days probably more so than there have ever been in the history of mankind uh, that could lead them down a path that's not great for human flourishing. And Dr. Sachs pointed to those in his book, and more importantly, he pointed to the solutions. And I thought his solutions were really well-founded, uh, well-researched, and the first one was to teach our children humility. And whenever I read that chapter, I remember thinking, this person is on to something much more fundamentally sound than anything I've read about what parents should and shouldn't do. Teaching humility uh, just seemed to really resound with me as a, as a school principal, uh, somebody that wants to see humility in all of our students, and I knew that it would be something important to the parents of Fredericksburg who think that that uh, <coughs> is such an important virtue for our students to take up, uh, for our children to take up. And so uh, I got to spend the better part of today hearing from Dr. Sachs as he talked to our student body, to our parents. Uh, we had a great lunch at Tubby's uh, with Dr. Sachs, and then he came back and spoke to our teachers this afternoon at a faculty in service. And at each one of those meetings, uh, something <coughs> brand new and wonderful was uncovered uh, about the way that we ought to be thinking about our students, the way that we could think about our children as uh, young boys, as young girls, uh, as human persons, 
were born with dignity uh, that deserve our respect. And so it was just a really, really wonderful day. And I'm excited that he gets to share his wisdom with you. Um, if earlier today our students, they were kind of sitting there listening diligently and then he started speaking in Hebrew and they all went. And so if he turns on the Hebrew, he got out of the car this morning speaking German. I don't know what you just said, but you're in the right towns. So uh, well-versed, and obviously he's going to talk about his, his credentials to stand up here uh, before you today and talk about the things he's going to uh, talk to you about. But uh, we're glad that he's here, and uh, without further ado, please welcome Dr. Seth. Well, thank you. That's, that's very, very kind. 